All right, I'm gonna be covering foot placement on the leg press. There's a lot of variations that you can do with your foot placement with leg press, uh, but there's a couple ones that are better than others. The first leg press foot placement is just the standard one, which is shoulder width apart. This targets both your quads and your hamstrings. So the next foot placement that you can do for leg press is to lower your legs uh, from that standard shoulder width apart. And this is going to target your quads more. And this is a really good um, alternative that you can do on leg press. Now, the other alternative that you can do is to raise your feet up on the leg press platform and uh, target your hamstrings a little bit more. And I don't really recommend this one as much as there's plenty of other hamstring workouts that you can do to implement this. But uh, this is also another foot placement alternative. Another foot placement that you can do is to spread your legs uh, from that standard shoulder width apart, and this is going to target your inner leg muscle. Uh, and vice versa, if you uh, narrow your stance, it will supposedly target your outer muscle, which um, from online, there's a lot of different things that are said about this, but most of the time, uh, what I would recommend is starting with your standard uh, shoulder width apart leg press, because now you're kind of targeting both your hamstrings and your quads. Now, with all this being said, uh, I want to also state some things to monitor or be careful of as you're starting doing leg press workouts. The first thing not to do is to lock your knees because if you lock your knees, it creates a lot of stress on your knee joints that is unnecessary and there is a potential for like snapping your legs, but usually that's on super high weight, so don't be too scared about that. Uh, but um, there could be problems that occur with locking out your knees and not keeping them uh, slightly bent. The other thing I see a lot of people do in the gym, and this just drives me nuts, is partial reps. And really, they're just not getting depth on the machine and uh, creating uh, an overload on those muscle groups. So what's happening is they're doing short, uh, short range of motion and thinking it's cool to uh, have that much weight on the machine and be pressing it. And yes, it is still somewhat impressive that they can uh, lift that much weight to start with, but really they're not getting the depth and working the muscles that they need to. Partial reps are not allowing your muscles to grow fully, um, so do not do them or try not to do them. And with that being said, when you're doing these full reps, make sure that you're getting full depth. And with that full depth it comes the next thing to not do, which is to roll your back. So this one I've personally had problems with because I am always trying to get as much depth as I can. And with that being said, sometimes you just accidentally uh, roll your back because you're wanting to get that much depth. So really what you want to do is when you're leg pressing, you want to bring the weight down uh, basically to as much as you can depth wise before your butt comes out of the seat or your back comes up out of it a little bit. So make sure that you're getting full depth, but make sure your back is not rounding. Now, another thing you can do to make sure that your back is not rounding is your seat angle and make sure it's just at a comfortable seat angle. If you have it too high, you're not going to get as much depth as you could. And if it's too far back, then maybe um, you may not be comfortable in that seat position. Seat angle is another thing to be monitoring and be aware of uh, on, on what setting you have it on. The last one is your knees caving inward. Make sure when you're leg pressing that your knees are just staying straight. Um, a little flare out may happen if you're trying to push through like your last rep or two, but if anything, make sure your knees are not caving inward and they are staying straight and aligned. All right, now I hope this helps uh, on what your foot placement can be or alternatives to your foot placement on the leg press and on kind of being careful or monitoring what you should be aware of when doing leg press and uh, how to not injure yourself.